Hey guys, Pastor Caleb here with the weekly update. Just to let you know what's going on here at Remnant Church. And of course, uh, I miss you. And uh, so uh, I wish that I could see you right now like you can see me. Um, but uh, it, it doesn't work like that quite yet. Um, I want to give you a weekly update what's going on here at Remnant Church. Uh, of course, uh, you see this mic in front of my face. The reason we're set up like this today is because we've been working on podcasts that we will be uh, bringing to you. Uh, but uh, since we were already had the mic set up, going ahead and just do it like this today. Um, I want to encourage you to continue uh, to join us online at 11 a.m. every Sunday. Uh, as you know, restrictions are still in place and will be in place. Gathering restrictions will be in place until uh, at least until the end of April. So we're hoping that things are back to uh, get, start getting back to normal in May. Uh, we don't know. We don't have any uh, date in mind, of course. Uh, I'm just like you. Uh, I'm just doing what I am told and trusting God. So... Um, we're going to continue to do online church, but let me say this: we are a, uh, we always have been here at Remnant Church. We've always had an inviting culture. Uh, that's one of the reasons why uh, Remnant has become the church it is, is because you invite people to come to church. So we're going to continue to do that. Some things you're going to start hearing us talk about is this: share them, share it to show them. So what that means is when I come on live, like right now, you share it. That's a great way to invite someone uh, to what's going on here at Remnant Church. And then uh, in that 11 a.m. service, when we go live, uh, share it to show them, but also tag them to tell them. You want to invite someone to church, what, what less threatening way to invite someone to church than to invite them to an online service where they can have church in their pajamas with their coffee mug in their hand. So uh, all you have to do is tag them. So we're really going to be talking a lot about that. Tag them to tell them, share it to show them, okay? So, of course, our 11 a.m. service is going to drop every Sunday at 11 o'clock live. Now, I'm really excited about um, our service this coming Sunday, it's going to be a special time. We're going to record in a different place. It's going to look, uh, it's going to look different. Uh, it's going to feel different, but it's going to be so powerful. As you know, we're getting closer and closer to Resurrection Sunday, and this coming Sunday, we're going to take communion uh, all across our region. We have people uh, that attend Remnant Church from uh, from Hilliard, Florida, to Pearson, Georgia, Douglas. Uh, Glen County, um, Brantley County, uh, all over our region. But then when we're online, of course, that's opened up to all over the world. So I'm expecting God to do great things as we come together in our homes, taking communion together. Here's some instructions I've got for you. Um, of course, you probably don't have the unleavened cracker at your home that we always uh, take here at church uh, for communion. And you may not have any grape fruit juice or grape juice, excuse me, uh, but that's not so important. What is important that you do have some elements, so bread or crackers of some sort. If you don't have grape juice and you can't find grape juice, orange juice will work, any, any juice. This is about remembering. Jesus said, do this in remembrance of me. So we're going to take communion in remembrance of what Jesus Christ done for us over 2,000 years ago, dying on the cross for us, shedding his blood for us, offering himself as a living sacrifice. It's going to be a power powerful time. And I, I don't know if there's any greater time to remember the blood of Jesus, the protection of his blood, uh, the, the, the saving power of his blood, the keeping power of his blood than right now. So we're going to do this in remembrance of what Christ has done for us. It's going to be beautiful. Our families gathering together all across this area, all across the world, gathering together around tables, in living rooms, remembering what Jesus Christ has done for us. It's going to be powerful, so share it uh, to show somebody, tell, uh, tag somebody to tell them. It's going to be a powerful, 
powerful, powerful Sunday. I'm looking forward to it already. Um, and let me just mention a few things that we've got going on so uh, throughout the week. Now, this is going to be basically a schedule of things that we've got going on, things when we come to you on social media and all this. So let me share that with you. Of course, Sunday, our 11 a.m. service. Uh, Tuesday, uh, we release a podcast every Tuesday afternoon. Wherever you get podcasts, it's available there. All you have to do is uh, search Remnant Church Podcast, and you can find it. On Wednesdays, uh, we come live at 7 p.m. You can watch it on Facebook Live. You can watch it on YouTube. I love that people stream YouTube on their uh, smart TVs uh, and uh, watch it that way. Thursdays at 1 p.m., something that it was just a great time of worship and uh, getting to talk to you live, uh, getting to read your comments, is every Thursday at 1 p.m., uh, we're going we're gonna to be praying together. Uh, I'm going to be around the piano. I'm going to have some friends with me. Pastor Sam will be there, Pastor Lauren, uh, no telling who else, uh, under 10 people, of course. But uh, we're going to uh, be around the piano, and it's going to be a personal time just uh, that we get to share with each other. I'm looking forward to that. That's every Thursday at 1 p.m. And then Thursdays at 7 p.m., Pastor Dustin hosts a Zoom student uh, gathering. Um, so if you're not familiar with Zoom, uh, we can help you get familiar with that. But uh, it's a great way to gather and not uh, to be connected, but not infected. So uh, Zoom call with the youth Thursday at 7 p.m. And then Saturday at 7 p.m., uh, our children's Children ministry directors, Casey and Renee, they do an amazing job, and they have a great team of people that help them. Um, They will be releasing every Saturday at 7 p.m. the kids' teaching uh, on Facebook Live. So get your students, uh, your kids together, and uh, from 4 to 11, they'll love it. They'll enjoy it, and um, that's That's the week here at Remnant. We are reaching out. We're sending letters uh, to you guys. Uh, I just sent a lot of letters out the other day. Um, we're, we're, We're trying to make contact with you as best we can. We love you. And let me share this with you before I get off of here. I can't tell you how much I miss you. Um, just the other day, as we were recording a message, I stood up at the podium and, uh, I couldn't help but think back a couple of weeks ago when when the sanctuary was packed and not only packed with people but packed with the presence of the Lord and all of us together worshiping together and um, it's a beautiful it was a beautiful thing um, it did kind of make me sad somewhat because I miss it but I know this uh, when we get back together and we will I'm telling you God is going to do some amazing things. This is a season of preparation, so don't miss it. Take this time to seek the face of God. Be praying. Be resting in the presence of God. Be praying and seeking God. My prayer for you is that during this time that you do not draw away, that you don't don't get away from him, but you draw closer to him. And the Bible says this, if you'll draw close to him, he will draw close to you. So this is a great time to be drawing close to God. And when we come together, I believe something miraculous is going to take place. I love you so much. Me and my family pray for you every day. The staff here at Remnant Church is praying for you. We love you all so much, and we cannot wait to see you very soon. God bless you. I'm praying for you. There ain't nothing you can do about it. (music) 